airport, it's about seven o'clock. Been up since five, went to bed at 12. Hello. You wanna say hi? Hi. Yeah, be very careful with that porridge, please. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the hatch should be ejected through the opening. <laughs> Which country are we in? England! No. about to get to Villa Pia after our little drama with the car and the whole lorry reversing into us thing. This is the damage, so not ideal. <laughs> We've arrived at Villa Pia and I could not be happier to be here. It is really, really, really cool, really chilled. What I like about it on first impressions is that it's very, very chilled out. We kind of just like learn the ropes and talking to other people here. It feels like there's a lot of love put into this place. This is the dinner that they put on for the kids. So right now it's like seven and the kids are just finishing up dinner and they do this kind of buffet thing where parents come down, everyone sits together, there's like delicious food put on for the kids, but all very kid friendly. So they've had like amazing ravioli, but chips as well, but also broccoli. So you have communal spaces, like the swimming pool, the eating area, there's lots of like toy areas, there's an outdoor toy area, there's an indoor toy area, I'll show you all that later. And everyone's just really friendly and chatty. I just wanted to quickly give you an idea of how it's working. So behind me, you can see everyone, well, all the adults, plus a couple of kids, including Jack, who don't want to sleep, are all having a meal and just hanging out. The food is incredible. Sunny's asleep, but our room sort of looks out onto the courtyard where everyone's We've sitting. We've got the window wide open so we can hear him. The wine is flowing, the food's delicious. We're chatting to lots of people. Everyone's super friendly. They're having a really, really lovely evening. Good morning guys, it's about 7am here. We're up before everybody else, me and Sunny are. Um, I'm down here hanging out with him and the great thing about it is you come downstairs with his milk, you can give them there's loads of toys, there's loads of space for them obviously, so you don't have to think about little details like that which make a big difference. There's nappies um, and it's not something that we're used to at all, having these kind of, I guess, kid-friendly features um, on holiday and it's actually really, really nice. Wow! This is... This is... Is it another child? Yay. This is like the little inside dining room. They have a proper coffee machine, which is epic. And then in this fridge, it's like help yourself. So they've got yogurts and juices and water and beer and Prosecco and wine. It's unlimited. And you just help yourself to fruit. So I just want to show you some of the grounds because they're beautiful. So up there is the main house and then this way is the 
swimming pool and the trampoline and what's really great about it is that it's a good distance from the house so there's no danger really we're coming there's no danger of kids running off and falling into the water because it's a really safe distance and then look at this land I'm coming in So we're just hanging out by the swimming pools. There's two, one for adults and one for kids, which is awesome because it means Jack can stand up. Mummy, huh? you're a teacher. Am I? Yeah, I'm scratching your hair. Jack, what did we do earlier? We go. Where did we go? We went in the... Swimming. Swimming? Did we go swimming? Yeah. Did Jack stand up? No. Yeah. No, Jack can't stand up. I can. Did you? So in here is a whole soft playroom, which yeah. is awesome because it's super hot outside and when the kids just need a little bit of a break from the sun, it's a perfect place to come to. Jack's just spent a while playing in there. Jackie, what are you eating? Yettery! A nectarine. Nectarine? Not a jectarine. A nectarine? Mm-hmm. I just snuck off for a little sneaky swim while Sonny's sleeping in the bedroom, so Sam and Jack are kind of hanging around there. So, so nice and relaxing. So quiet here and absolutely beautiful. Ready, steady, go! Oh, there's a Here I come! Wee! Wow! <laughs> Was that fun? Yes. Was it scary? No. Well, it's scary. Uh, Mommy, I can, I can fly to, to, what's that? What's what? What's that? A map. I can fly to the map. Yeah, you can. What happens if I get stuck? Yeah, I know. If you get stuck. <laughs> On your map, that, that, go! I'm stuck. Ah. <laughs> Push me down. Sunny, sit down please. So this is the playroom. It's looking a little messy this morning because all the kids have run Ryan in it. But basically wherever you are, there's toys in this place. I'm going to take you into our room. It's a bit of a mess right now. <laughs> but it's really big. I've literally hardly seen Jack today. So happy here. He's just off playing with the children. Poor little Sonny is missing out on his playmate. So that's the end of our time here at Villapia. I hope you enjoyed this video. We've had the best time. I would really, really recommend this place for anyone that's looking for somewhere kid-friendly 
but that isn't a kind of all singing or dancing resort. It's super relaxed here. You just kind of get on with it. Everyone is lovely. There's about 12 families here. It's somewhere you can come with kids and know that they're going to have fun and meet other kids and there'll be toys to play with and food for them. And it's just, it's just a really easy place to go on holiday and have a lovely relaxed time.